times. He tied a cord around his neck. It's just hanging there, facing the window. I heard the coroner say he'd been dead for hours by the time I found him. I think that's right, James. But it's important you just tell us everything you know. What I know. That's important. What I know, that my dad was a coward. Somebody who ran from everything his entire life. He would talk for days about all the things he was scared of. He was scared of losing my mum. When he did, he was scared of losing himself. He was gone the minute she was. That's what I know. You think your father was a coward? I know he was. He was scared. And you? What are you scared of, James? Nothing. How about when you were a child? When I was a kid, I was scared of masks. There was this school play once, some religious story. But all my friends wore these weird, faceless masks. Blank. Empty. They used to scare me. And now? What scares you now? dying, James. Aren't you afraid of dying? Are you? If I said I am, would it make a difference? If you said you are, then you already know my answer. I think it would be helpful to hear you say it. I'm a grown man. So was your father. He certainly had his share of fears. From what you've told me, it would seem as though he was scared of death. But he was more scared of life. Men don't cry. Men aren't scared of dying, or pain, or monsters, or masks. My father wasn't a man. You seem different. You don't want to speak to me today? I never wanted to speak to you. And why is that? Because there is nothing wrong with me. You keep asking me all these questions. Sending fucking grave diggers down into my brain to dig for skeletons that you think exist there. That's a very disturbing way to put it. It's all bullshit! Nothing exists up here. It doesn't exist up here. Fear and death and all this shit that you want to talk about, it comes from this place. This fucking place! 
And now? I'm not afraid of anything. I am not afraid. I am not afraid of you. I am not afraid. I know the things that you're scared of, James. James, have you ever heard the story of Zeus and his son? Zeus overthrew his father, Cornus. He took what he wanted from a weaker being, but it was fear that ultimately led to his downfall. A fear that his own son would inherit the rage that led to his own father's death. You see, Cornus overthrew his father, and Zeus overthrew Cornus. The son inherits the most dangerous attributes of the father. And for your father, it was fear. An overwhelming fear that consumed everything he was. You talk about my father like you know him. Let me tell you who my father really was. He was weakness and pain. I didn't inherit that. I learned from it. I adapted to survive. I saw what he was. I saw his fear. And I chose not to become it. You're wrong, James. You've become everything he was. You're scared of dying. You're scared of not being a man. You're scared of reflecting your father's life with your own. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Yes, you are.